First King chapter 1 verse 31. Then Bathsheba bowed low before him again and exclaimed, May my Lord King David live forever. The King David order called Zadok the priest, Nadan the prophet, and the Benia son of the Ehoida. When they came into the king's presence, the king said to them, Take Solomon and my officer down to the Gihon Spring. Solomon is to ride on my personal mule. Then Zadok the priest and Nadan the prophet arch anointed him to king over Israel. Then bow the trumpet and shout, Long live King Solomon! When you bring him back here, he will sit on my throne. He will succeed me as king, for I have anointed him to the to be lord over Israel and Judah. Amen. Benia, son of the Ehoida, replied, May the Lord, the God of my Lord, the king, decree this to, to be so, and may the Lord be with Solomon as he has been with you. And may he make Solomon's reign even greater than yours. So Zadok the prophet, Christ, Nadan the prophet, Benia, son of the Ehoida, and the king's bodyguard took Solomon down to Gihon, Spring and Solomon wore a king's David's personal mirror. And there Zadok the prophet priest took a flask of olive oil from the sacred tent and poured it on Solomon's head. Then the trumpet were blown, and all the people shouted, Long live King Solomon! And all the people returned with Solomon to Jerusalem, praying for it and uh, shouting for joy. The celebration was so joyous and noisy that the earth shook with the sound. Ehoina and his guests heard the celebrating and the shouting just as they were finishing their banquet. When Joab heard the sound of a trumpet, he asked it, What's going on? Why is the city such a sheer on up -roared? And while he was still speaking, Jonathan, son of the Ehoadar, the prophet arrived to come in. Ehoadar said to him, For you are a good man. You must have a good news. Not at all, Jonathan replied. Our Lord King David had just declared Solomon king. The king sent him down to Gihon Spring with Jado. The prophet, Nadan the prophet, and the Benia, son of the Ehoina, protected by the king's bodyguard, they had him ride on the king's own mirror, and Jado and Nadan had anointed him as a new king. They have just returned, and the whole city is celebrating and rejoicing. That is what all noise is about. Moreover, Solomon is now sitting on the royal throne as king. The royal officer went to King David and congratulated him, saying, May your God make Solomon fame even greater than your own, and may Solomon's kingdom be even greater than yours. Then the king bowed his head in the worship as he lay in his bed. And he spoke this word, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who told, has chosen someone to sit on my throne while I am still arrived to see it. Then all of the Ehona, the guest jumped up in a panic from the banquet table and quickly went their separate way. Edonia himself was afraid of Solomon, so he rushed to the sacred tent and caught hold of the horn of the altar. What soon reached Solomon that Edonia had seized the horns of the altar, and he was pleading, "But Solomon swear today that he will not kill me. Solomon replied, If he prove himself to be a warrior, he will not be harmed. But if he does not, he will die. So King Solomon summoned Edonia, and they brought him down from the altar. He came and bowed low before the king 
and Solomon dismissed him, saying, Go on home. David final instructions to Solomon. At the time of King David's death approached, he gave the charge to his son Solomon. I'm going where everyone on earth must some, someday go. Take charge and be a man. Observe the requirement of the road, your God, and follow all his way. Keep earth of law, command regulation and stipulations within in the law of the Moses to, so that you will be successful in all you do. Wherever you go, 